Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. This is part two of our naming options tutorial and in this segment we'll be covering custom lists. Now custom lists are simply a nice way to be able to insert some predefined information into a naming option or maybe even to build a file name on the fly. Let's take a quick look at what they are and how they work. Now custom lists are part of the naming option feature so to create those and manage them we go up to the naming button just like with naming options. Here you'll see that there's a second tab called custom lists and we're going to select that. Now I have a few lists defined already. Let's take a look at what they are. For example, I created this list called staff names and in this list I've entered the names of everyone who works in my office. I've also got the document types that my law firm deals with. Here are a few of the common IRS forms that we have to deal with and these are counties in our state. Now all of these are simply elements that I can draw on at the time that I'm naming my files. Now let's take a look at how that works. Let's rename one of these files. Now we've already seen that this drop arrow to the right side of the file name field is going to show us our naming options in a drop list. But now there's another button right here to the right of that one. This is naming options and custom lists. When I click that, this is kind of our advanced naming dialog. I can see all of my naming options, but you'll notice I also have a tab here that shows my custom lists. And in fact, there they are, the same lists which we saw earlier. Here I can select items and insert them into a file name, and I can build a file name right here on the fly. For example, I could say letter 2 and come to the staff and Bob Johnson say OK and OK and look at that with just a couple of mouse clicks I was able to build a file name. Now the real power of custom lists is when I use them hand in hand with naming options. For example in the naming options tutorial we saw that one nice way to name files is beginning with a date and perhaps a client name that's derived from the drawer. Well if I can use that together with elements from custom lists I can pretty quickly develop file names without having to define hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different naming options for all the different document types and staff members that I might have in my office. For example, let's rename this file again, but this time let's use naming options in conjunction with custom lists. Now you'll notice here on my custom list tab that the very first list is actually my naming options. File Center is automatically going to present this as one of your custom lists. And I have two naming options set up right now. One is the date, and one is the date plus the drawer name. So I'm going to select this one and insert it into the expression, into the file name, and notice that it grabbed the name of the client from this drawer right here. And now I can go ahead and say letter 2 and staff name Bob Johnson, and OK. And there we go. With just a few mouse clicks, I was able to get a file name, build a file name actually, that has dynamic information plus information derived from some of my custom lists. So how do you set up your own lists? Well, let's make one really quickly so you can see how it's done. We come to the Custom Lists tab, and we've got one here that's our staff names. Let's make one that's staff abbreviations. Now to make the list, all you need to do is type your items into the list right here. Let me just type in a few really quickly. Now, if you want to sort your items after you've typed them in, you can click sort. That's not going to do anything because these were already alphabetized but that's a quick and easy way to sort items after you've placed them in the list. Otherwise, they're going to stay in the order that you typed them in. We click OK, and there we go. We've got a list of staff abbreviations. Now, this is the order of the lists as they're going to appear in that dialog. If I want these lists themselves to appear in alphabetical order, I can click Sort right there, and now my lists themselves are sorted. That way you can choose whether you want them alphabetized, or if you have higher priority lists you want on the top, well, you can deselect this and then just move lists up and down using these arrow keys. 
So that gives you a good flavor of how you can quickly and easily build file names using predetermined items from lists. A very, very powerful feature.